In this problem, we have an infinite series, and we have to see if it converges or diverges. And we're going to use the ratio test. And the problem, I believe, it asks us to use the ratio test. So the ratio test says you start by taking the limit as n goes to infinity of the absolute value of a sub n plus 1 over a sub n. And let me just emphasize that this is not the only way to do the problem. There's actually an easier way. And I'll show you once we go through the ratio test uh, solution. So this is equal to the limit as n goes to infinity. So note that um, n here is an integer. So it can be 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, etc. So it can never be negative. So there's no need for the absolute value in this particular question. So you can drop the absolute values. Now notice that the top piece here is a sub n plus 1. So this basically means that we replace all of the n's with n plus 1's. Notice if we put an n plus 1 inside the factorial, it'll become n plus 1 minus 1. That's the same thing as n factorial, because the 1's cancel. So this is n factorial over 9 to the n plus 1. So the only thing I've done so far is replace all of the n's with n plus 1's. Now we're dividing by a sub n. So division is the same thing as multiplication by the reciprocal. So typically what we do with the ratio test is we put a time symbol here, and then we just flip this whole thing, because that's the same thing as division. So this is 9 to the n over, and then we have on the bottom n minus 1 factorial. So again, first you plug in n plus 1, and then instead of dividing by a sub n, we typically just multiply by the reciprocal. There's some simplification that goes on here, and let me just do it on the side up here. So first we have n factorial over n minus 1 factorial. So n factorial is really n, n minus 1, n minus 2, dot, 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 3, 2, 1. Then n minus 1 factorial is just n minus 1, n minus 2, times dot, 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 3, 2, 1. So you see all of this goes away. So you're just left with n. So this is equal to the limit as n goes to infinity of n. And then what's up with the 9s? So we have 9 to the n over 9 to the n plus 1. We could think of that as 9 to the n over, and here's the key, 9 to the n times 9 to the 1. Because when you multiply these, you actually add the exponents. 9 to the n times 9 to the 1 is 9 to the n plus 1. It's because the bases are the same. So this is 1 over 9. So we just have a 9 here. Ridiculous. <laughs> so it cleans up really, really nice. And this is equal to infinity, which is bigger than 1. So that means it diverges by the ratio test. Recall the ratio test says um, if it's less than 1, you get convergence. If it's bigger than 1, you get divergence. It's, if it's equal to 1, no info. So this is convergence. This is divergence. This is nothing. <laughs> nothing at all. Nothing there. So the other way to do this problem is to just look at it and take the limit of this piece here. So if you take the limit as n goes to infinity of this piece here, and you don't get 0, then the series diverges. That's called the nth term test. So I know you can't read it, so let me just write it again. It's n minus 1 factorial over 9 to the n. So factorials grow faster than exponentials. So this is infinity. So it's not equal to 0. So diverges by the nth term test. So that's really the first test you should always use in every series, is you should just look at this and then take the limit as n goes to infinity of this piece here. If this limit is not 0, then you know it diverges by the nth term test. The only reason I took this approach in this problem is because the question said to use the ratio test. But again, if you know that factorials grow faster than exponentials, since you have a factorial up top, you know that the top is growing faster, so you know that this fraction is getting bigger, so you know it's approaching infinity. That means it's not 0, so that means that it diverges by the nth term test. If you get 0 here, uh, when you do this, no info. The nth term test fails. It's a lot of information. I hope this video has made sense. Good luck.